Just um, I'm one Karen. more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Karen Bartholow. Uh, I've lived in Charles County since uh, se I moved here in 74. Um, I currently live in Port Tobacco on the river since 1986. I hear about uh, the Matta woman, um, but we do have a Port Tobacco river too. And um, I've seen changes. I used to go in the water actually. I don't anymore. We used to catch, catch fish. Um, in the back, uh, off the uh, pier in the backyard. Um, we don't do that anymore either because you can't eat it. Um, the, uh, the problems that we've had with the overflow of the uh, La Plata sewage plant has done a lot of damage. Um, although the raw sewage isn't going in anymore, the uh, flow of the water um, still erodes. So that is an issue. Um, they talk about the uh, individual septics. I know ours works because we check it every year. Um, that might be an issue, but it doesn't compare to the, uh, the, the water plant, the sewage treatment plant. Um, the one thing I'm concerned about with, I, I am against the plan as proposed. I was involved in this process from the beginning. Um, we don't have the infra, we need to have the infrastructure first. And part of that is the water resources. And when I say water, I'm talking the water table. We've had to read it. I've lived in two houses on the river in Port Tobacco uh, since 86. Both houses, we had to drop the well 50 feet. The water level has averaged one foot drop per year. I, I think that's significant. Now that's just in my little, not even a full acre. Um, and I pay pretty penny for that full acre, but I do enjoy the view and the wildlife. and. Uh, I talk to my uh, blue heron every morning and I see the <laughs> eagles and when the osprey come in they kick out the eagles and it's an annual event and it's fun to watch and the hummingbirds and all. Uh, it's lovely, I enjoy it, so I pay the taxes, $10 a square foot. <laughs> so thank you and uh, I'm sure you'll consider with the, all this input. Um, a good plan, a better plan.